The Topicals Faded Brightening and Clearing Serum is up there in the list of my top five favorite dark spot fading serums. It can be a great option for anyone who battles with hyperpigmentation as a constant concern. It's rarely ever available on shelves and sells out pretty fast. This month alone on Amazon, selling over 10,000 units. In this video, I'll go over what makes this brightening serum so unique, what I like and dislike about it, and how to use it for the best results. So stay with me till the end. Also guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. And guys, as you can see, I actually purchased this item myself and this video isn't sponsored, just to be clear. Every once in a while, you guys will ask me a question on what the best product is for melasma and hyperpigmentation. And we talk about many of those ingredients that can be useful. We've covered kojic acid, tranexamic acid, alpha arbutin, niacinamide, as well as reviewed some of the most popular dark spot correcting serums on the market. Well, I'm here to tell you that this product is loaded with tyrosinase inhibitors, making it perfect for brightening up those stubborn dark spots and restoring your skin's natural pigment. There are about eight different lightening ingredients in here that I'm pleasantly surprised with, which we'll get into, making it great for anyone who doesn't want to use a lengthy skincare routine each with those individual products and ingredients. And in terms of packaging, it has that 2000 style skateboard brand font, which reminds me of the first skateboard I bought. The brand Topicals was actually founded by two young women of color. So I was excited to try formula design with darker skin tones like mine in mind. And I do get the occasional dark spot or sunspot on my face. And I think it's a good idea to have a product like this I can turn to from time to time. But let's go ahead and dive into the ingredients real quick. You get a combination of kojic, azelaic, and tranexamic acids, which is where the product gets most of its fading powers from. On top of that, you get the nice cinnamide, which fights inflammation and evens out the skin tone. It is also set to brighten dark spots. You get the sicko, which calms down the skin and can also brighten the complexion too. The licorice root, which also aids in brightening up the face and fading dark spots and reversing redness. So how many is that right there? Kojic acid, azelaic acid, tranexamic acid, nice cinnamide, sicko, and licorice root. What else am I forgetting? We well, also got the alpha arbutin, which also reduces tyrosinase activity, reducing the formation of melanin in your skin. And not to forget to mention the glutathione, which repairs natural skin pigment. So that's about eight ingredients right there, all set to tackle dark spots. And if that wasn't enough, why don't we also throw in turmeric butter and jojoba seed oil to improve the skin's elasticity simultaneously. And if you think about it for about 18 bucks for a fluid ounce, you are getting a good bang for your buck. It's gonna be a creamy serum that's both breathable and lightweight. It comes in a tube like this that does a good job in protecting it from oxidation. And the best way to use it is after your cleanser on a dry face or after your toner if you use one. And you really need only a pea-sized amount enough to cover the skin area with a thin layer massaging the end as a spa treatment. Go ahead and start off with using it once or twice a week and gradually increase it to daily use over time. It's also recommended that you don't use the faded serum with AHAs and BHAs or retinol. So if you're using the retinol, make sure it's not at the same time as the serum. Use it at night and then the faded serum during the day. What I will say about what I don't like about the product is the smell. It doesn't contain any fragrances to mask scents, which I like, but with that said, it will smell. The smell actually comes from the glutathione since it contains a cysteine side chain resembling the smell of sulfur. But don't worry, after a while you will get used to the smell of rotten eggs and chicken broth and you'll be fine. This is something to expect with going into it because I know for many, they don't like these types of surprises. In fact, after the two hour mark, the smell really doesn't linger longer than just that. And speaking of expectations, you will start to see noticeable results with this anywhere from one to three weeks, which is awesome. With the three week mark being the most common amount of time it takes to see decent results. Usually, the newer dark spots will respond faster to the product than the older spots left from the sun or acne. After you use it, wait about five minutes and then go ahead and seal it all in with your moisturizer. What I will add to this though, is make sure that the thin coat you apply actually gets worked into the skin, otherwise it will pill on the face. And since some of the ingredients in here can increase your sensitivity to the sun, go ahead and use a mineral-based broad-spectrum sunscreen of SPF 30 or more if you're going out into the sun, which I'll also link for you down below as my affiliate. 
But overall, I'm more curious to hear from you guys though. What are your thoughts on hyperpigmentation? Would love to read your comments down below. And in the meantime, if you found this video helpful, click the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one.